What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video we're going to be talking about some awesome things coming this week from Apple having to do with the iPad 4, 128 gigs, uh, the iOS 6.1 release, and an iOS 6 through 6.1 jailbreak to come soon. <laughs> So there are a lot of things I want to cover in this video. Instead of making three separate runs, I kind of want to cover it all in one because um, pretty much for Apple, in terms of Apple this week, it's been pretty big uh, with some awesome announcements and I figured uh, why not just combine them into all one video to talk about. So the first thing that I want to talk about um, is going to be a new iPad that Apple has announced. Now don't get me wrong here, this isn't an actual new iPad. Um, it's the current iPad, which is the iPad 4 with the lightning connector and all that other extra stuff that Apple's added. Um, and what they do now is they're actually going to be selling a 128 gigabyte model, uh, being 128 gigabytes of storage inside the iPad 4. Now this isn't going to take effect with um, the new iPad, the new iPad 3. The, we'll just call it the iPad 3 in this case, or the iPad 2 that Apple still sells. The iPad 2 will still be selling at its regular sizes. Uh, which I think is only 16 gigabyte now, and then the iPad 4 is what's getting the 128 gigabyte um, update. Now, in terms of the Wi-Fi model, the iPad 4 uh, Wi-Fi model will run you $799. Of course, that's obviously going to be $800. And then if you want to go ahead and add 4G LTE data to your iPad 4 128 gigabyte model, it's going to run you about $930. Now, personally, my take on this, um, why not just get a MacBook Air or a laptop or something why would you spend nearly a thousand dollars um on an ipad now obviously you know you're getting the benefit of uh cellular usage but if you're just going to get the wi-fi model uh why would you spend eight hundred dollars on it you could you might not be able to get a mac with that you might be able to get an older used one but you could always get a windows computer or something like that obviously they're not the best computers but uh, definitely not my choice either, but you could still get a computer for $800 and probably a pretty decent one, I will add. So I'm pretty sure Apple's going to be starting to sell these uh, next Tuesday. I'm not really interested on this, so I'm not 100% focused on that right now. Uh, but what I am focused on right now is iOS 6.1, and there are two major things to this. So the first thing, the first major thing is the iOS 6.1 release. Now this is out for any device that runs iOS 6.0, so you can get it on your iPhone, uh, your iPad, and your iPod Touch. So definitely go download it now. All you have to do is go to Settings, Software Update, and you're ready to go. Now, hold on a second. If you want a jailbreak, do it through iTunes. Here's the news. Now, um, they are actually on work with a jailbreak right now, and the jailbreak happens to be called Evaders. Now, associated with this Evaders jailbreak are some big hackers, such as Muscle Nerd and Pod2G, and they've been on work with this since pretty much the iPhone 5 came out, uh, along with iOS 6, and this finally means that you'll be able to jailbreak your iPhone 5, iPod Touch 5G, and even your iPad Mini. Being that said, this will be working for any other devices running iOS 6.0 through 6.1, and since 6.1 was just released, why wouldn't they cover 6.1? Of course, it is safe to go ahead and update. Uh, 6.1 just brings some major bug fixes and stuff. There's also new volume buttons. Uh, you could buy movie tickets through Siri now. Um, and they fixed a ton of other stuff, battery drain and stuff like that. I never really pay attention to that stuff. But the major thing about 6.1 is that it's safe for a jailbreak. Now, this jailbreak is set to come out this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. So, what are you going to be doing this Sunday? Jailbreaking your phone or your iPad? Or are you going to be watching the Super Bowl? I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of both. Probably more jailbreaking. Now, aside from all that, 6.1 is available for free download. Now, you can either do it through OTA on your device. OTA stands for over the air or you could do it through iTunes. Again, if you want a jailbreak, I recommend doing it through iTunes. It's just what they're saying right now because uh, they haven't tested OTA yet and uh, it would take more longer to test. You wouldn't be able to save your SHSHs in order to go back uh, and downgrade to previous versions of iOS to be able to jailbreak again. So just go ahead and update to iTunes if you're looking forward to this jailbreak or you want this jailbreak. Of course, with all jailbreaks that are major and untethered, I'll be making a video. So time comes Sunday, unless they release it or delay it at a later time, definitely be checking my channel for that update video. Uh, and I'll be giving a full tutorial on how to do it and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. just wanted to give a quick announcement of iOS 6.1 coming out. Uh, the new iPad 4, which isn't really new, just they added a size storage being 168 gigs. 
Um, and of course, the Evaders Jailbreak coming out for iOS 6.0 through 6.1, hopefully this upcoming Sunday. Again, be sure to uh, keep looking on my channel for updates. Of course, comment below on your thoughts and rate. Give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. That'll help you stay updated uh, with all Jailbreaks news and stuff like that and anything iOS. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.